Welcome in. It's New England Patriots today by Chat Sports. Tyler Jones here with you. Thanks for joining us. Coming up on today's show, we're going to talk about the possibility of trading for Devin White. The news came out this week that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers linebacker wants out and would like to move on. Could he be taking his talents to Foxborough? We will discuss and look into the possibility coming up in just a few moments. Before we do, Need to make sure you're subscribed to the channel, folks. We are bringing you New England Patriots coverage each and every day now, and we can bring you even more Patriots coverage if you subscribe to the channel. If you subscribe, you're going to get news and rumors segments. We're getting you ready for the draft. We're talking trades and more as well. Subscribe for free today. Turn on notifications so you never miss a moment, and we'll get started with today's show. Bleacher Report has named the Patriots as a top trade destination for Devin White. In fact, they named the Patriots as the top trade destination for Devin White. So, could he be on his way to New England? Does it make sense for the Patriots? I I feel like Devin White's been talked a lot about over the last couple of years, ever since Tom Brady came to town, of the impact that he brought to that uh, Buccaneers defense as one of the leaders of that side of the football. Here's more from Bleacher Report. Going into age 25 season, White would easily become the most accomplished player among the Patriots' inside linebackers. He would also bring Super Bowl experience to a team that's tried to regain prominence in its post-Tom Brady era. Essentially, New England can strengthen a shallow position and get a little younger in the middle of its defense with White in the fold. The Patriots have $12.4 million in cap space. They can restructure uh, Matthew's contract to save $5.2 million if White wants an immediate bump in salary. So there's a possibility potentially for New England. They can make the money work to get this deal done. I'll show you the money, what it looks like for Devin White in just a second in that contract situation that he's in. Before we do, here's your chance to be a part of the show and weigh in. What do you think? Would you like to see Devin White in New England? If you would, type Y for yes. If not, type in for no. Get in that comment section and tell me how you feel. In true chat sports fashion, don't just tell me why for yes or in for no, but elaborate on it. Tell me why you want Devin White or why you don't want Devin White. Very curious what you guys have to say. Tell me in the comment section below what you think. So here's three key points that are worth noting as far as a Devin White trade comes. Um, you look at his uh, situation, his trade value about uh, about a third round pick is what we're looking at for uh, what he brings to the table. And his cap hit for this upcoming year is around $11.7 million. So you heard us say earlier that the cap space for the Patriots right now at $12.4 million, he would take up almost essentially all that's remaining of the cap. And you still have to pay your rookies as well when they get drafted. So you'd have to finagle the money, but it can be done Not out of the question, but it certainly would take some work to get to that point. And think about this, too. The final year of Devin White's rookie contract, he's not going to want to just get paid for this year. If you're going to bring in Devin White, if it's really worth your while, you have to think you got to get a deal done for the long term. you got to get him that next contract as well, not just pay him this year, but the money that he would be doing that next contract. It's not worth the trade if you're not going to lock him up long term as far as I'm concerned. Here's one thing to think about, though, when it comes to Devin White. This is a guy that's athletic. He can make those splashy plays. He draws a lot of headlines and highlights. But the hype doesn't always match the consistency when it comes with Devin White, okay? Um, You see those plays, but as far as what he does each and every down, it's not always there. So I don't know necessarily if it's worth it to pay Devin White and give up a third-round pick. Would it be an improvement? Yes, but... The value? I don't know. He's a former first-round pick. He's won a Super Bowl. Second-team All-Pro back in 2020, Pro Bowler in 2021. The statistics uh, there, as you can see, this past season had 124 tackles. Those numbers are down, though, from the 2020 season, the year that the Bucs won the Super Bowl. And in two less games, might I add you, he had more sacks, more tackles, more tackles for loss, and... Uh, He had four pass breakups. Comparatively speaking to what he's done the last couple years, his numbers have gone down. They're not bad, what he did the last two years, but they're not as good as what they were in 2020. So with that in mind, uh, if it's not Devin White, who would you like to see the Patriots trade for? Look, it's an arms race when you look at this division with where the Bills are at. We know the Dolphins are getting better. The Jets, of course, waiting on Aaron Rodgers and all this. 
The Patriots got to keep up. Who would you like to see New England trade for? Besides Devin White, who comes to mind that you'd like to see on this Patriots team? Let me know, and I'll see you next time right here on Patriots Today. Thanks for joining us.